this is Graceland Girls Book Club and we are excited to share this wonderful short story. I'm itching to hear what the girls think about this uh, short story. I would like first to thank Matt and Anne for the beautiful discussion they had and um, so insightful. So I don't want to say much. I want to hear what the girls think. So the girls have read this short story. Personally, I've read it over and over. My book is uh, full of writings. I can't stop noting things, especially I'm so fascinated about the language and the style of narration by the writer. So I would like to ask of uh, this table here to tell us something about the story and I think, what would you like to discuss? Uh, characterization. Oh, characterization. Off you go. Uh, my name is Jessica and I'm in Form 1 uh, and I'm going to talk about the characterization. So first, I would like to describe Mr. Jim Johnson, who I like to disagree with you, Matt. Uh, to me, he was a bad guy because I think that he was trying to still get his ideas to get a promotion in his work. And also, when uh, when get to started to bring up the when Gates started to bring up something about the job, Mr. Jeff Johnson cut him off because uh, there's a thing in page 39 that he had somehow indirectly told Getu that he wouldn't get the job because he told him that hope is uh, really, when Getu started to say really, I'm quite concerned, he cut him off and told him hope is the greatest asset a man can have, you know. So I think that Mr. Jeff Johnson told him indirectly that he wouldn't give him the job. And also, I admired Getu's genius because how would he be given a card and memorize it in just one minute? Uh, so, um, yeah. And also, on Getu's mother, uh, on Getu's mother, I think she somehow knew Mr. Jeff Johnson because. Uh, uh, I think they somehow knew each other with Mr. Jack Johnson because there's a way that she got because there's no way we are told that Mr. Jeff Johnson was chauffeured to any international offices and there's no way we are told about Wall Road. So in page 27, uh, the... The fifth, par huh? or the fifth paragraph, uh, where we are told he is chauffeured to one international office after another. And he goes to the fancy clubs in Bolvard, feast, drinks, passes out. And also, there's no other told about the driver of Mr. J. So, a note about the guards. I don't think these guards are really observant because when Getu arrived, you know, when every tycoon arrived there, they had their tie made. So, when Getu arrived, he hadn't made his tie. So like, I don't think the guys are really observant on that. And also, I think every person passing there, because you know they're international and they're people who have money, so I think every person passing there had a certain appeal. So like, so there's a way, Mr. <laughs> of course, when you walk for miles, there's a way you, you sweat. So after passing, <laughs> after passing the guys, how did they notice that? And not when he removed his jacket because I think those things were really big. So like, they'll, they'd still notice, but they weren't paying attention. Uh, I'm at 
began and our group would like to talk about themes. So in the street sweep, we saw on the first page, we came across the theme of poverty, uh, where we're told, where the writer takes us to the imaginative world of his, uh, in the second paragraph, his mattress was on the floor in the corner and it was covered with all of his clothes, which earlier that evening he had tried on. So I think the writer is basically trying to tell us that Getu was, it shows us that Getu wasn't really from the background, from a rich background, but quite a humble one because uh, his mattress was on the floor. We also see some uh, poverty where he tells, where the writer tells us about the new rule in Addis Ababa uh, in page 30. <clears throat> on the second paragraph, uh, we're told that neighborhood by neighborhood, stucco houses vanished, makeshift tents made of cloth and rugs and wood were swept away, moon houses put up by night, put up at night by leaning tin side, tin siding against a wall were tossed aside by morning. This shows us that Itu's neighborhood was was quite humble because the government used to sweep away the houses, the houses that are not considered to be of their class in Addis Ababa, and the rule that was brought up of having a four-story house, which made Getu really worried because where he lived, he had lived there since for the longest, and he was born there, and that's where also the mothers lived. Um, we would also like to talk about education. Where in the story, we see that Getu is quite self-taught, uh, self-educated.